What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you the difference between working in a bioinformatics role in industry versus in academia. For reference, I am a bioinformatics scientist. I currently work in industry, but I have previously worked in academia, so I have a fairly good grasp of how the two compare. The topics we're gonna to cover in this video are work environment, resources, collaboration and funding, pay and career opportunities. But before we start, I just want to clearly define what I mean when I say academia and industry, for those of you who may be unsure. Academia in bioinformatics refers to academic institutions that conduct research and educate students in the field. Bioinformatics academics in academia focus on advancing the field through research, teaching and learning. On the other hand, bioinformatics industry refers to the commercial sector that uses bioinformatics for practical applications in healthcare, pharmaceuticals and biotechnology. Bioinformatics professionals in industry focus on developing new products and solutions for industry needs. So without further ado, let's get into the first comparison, which is the work environment. From my experience, working in industry tends to be a lot more fast paced. You have constant deadlines that need to be met and it's a very high pressure environment where you need to be on top of your game all the time. So there's a focus on delivering results uh, quickly and efficiently within a given time frame. Now a high stress environment isn't for everyone, but it can be a good thing. I've found that I've learned a lot in a, a very short amount of time in industry because I'm kind of being um, worked to my absolute limit. Academia is a little bit more relaxed, so you don't have these constant deadlines. There isn't this constant pressure of having to deliver results in a certain time. Um, you can kind of get your work done in your own time. Now this is a general trend. It may not be the same for all labs, but this is definitely what I've experienced. And in terms of work-life balance, I would say the two are similar. But as I said, in industry, you do have these harsh deadlines. There is sometimes the need to work weekends or work late, whereas in academia, there's less of that. I would say bioinformatics is quite a good field to be in in terms of work-life balance because you can work remotely, I work remotely, and also compared to some people that work in the wet lab, they may have to stay you know, overnight sometimes to do experiments, so at least we don't have to do that. Okay, on to the next point, resources, funding, and collaboration. Now, before we get into this, um, I kind of want to explain that there are fundamental differences between academia and industry in terms of the goal. So in academia, the goal is often to advance our understanding, advance the science without that immediate practical application. Whereas in industry, the goal of a, a company is often to make a profit or, or a return on investment. So this is why we see a difference in not only the source of funding, but also the resources that the funding is put into. Resources and funding in academia are often provided by government agencies or non-profit organisations. Whereas in industry, the funding will come from the company itself or from investors. For this reason, I would say there's generally less money in academia. Researchers will have to apply for grants um, constantly to be able to fund their work. Whereas in industry, there seems to be a, this constant supply of money uh, for resources, for, for other benefits. Now, this is not always the case in academia. It depends on the lab. Some labs will have a high funding, especially labs that are producing a lot of cutting edge work. In my personal experience, I did notice the difference when I switched to industry. Um, when I was working academia, I was just working on my personal laptop, uh, connecting to a remote server to do all my bioinformatics work. Um, but when I joined industry, they gave me two laptops, one for doing my bioinformatics work and another for just communicating. So there seems to be this abundance of money and it felt like they were just giving us everything we needed. Whereas in academia, um, it's more the things that are necessary to get the work done. Academia and industry both involve collaboration. So in academia, you may be collaborating with other researchers, uh, people in your lab. You also may be collaborating with clinicians who are collecting the data that you're gonna be analyzing. Uh, in industry, it depends. It kind of depends what role you're in. Uh, but for me as a bioinformatics scientist, a lot of my collaboration is done with other tech people. So engineers, data curators, data scientists, 
also project managers and clients. Both involve collaboration, so it's good to develop your soft skills as well as your technical skills. So now we're going to talk about career advancement and career paths in academia versus industry. In academia, the career path looks a little something like this. So at the start, you have students, so undergraduate students, postgraduate students. If you don't have a PhD, you can go straight into academia working as a research assistant, or you can continue to get your PhD. Um, after PhD, you can go into working as a research associate or as a postdoctoral researcher. These are kind of the same thing. After which you can go on to a professor track. So you'll become a assistant professor, an associate professor, and eventually uh, a full professor. In industry, there is also a clear path of progression. So it looks something like this. You'll start off as a junior bioinformatics scientist and you can work your way up through the ranks, so bioinformatics scientist one, two, three. Companies may vary in, in the exact job titles, but you can eventually work your way up to management, or you can move laterally into a more engineering focused role. I would say it takes longer to climb the academic ladder. Uh, the reason for this is that there are prerequisites uh, for getting to those higher positions. So if you want to become uh, a professor, you're going to need to have a PhD, you're going to need to have postdoc experience um, whereas in industry this is not necessarily the case it does help you to climb the career ladder faster if you have a PhD but it's not required the next thing we're going to cover is pay and compensation so there are many variables that go into this including your location uh, the exact the exact job role the organization you're at etc. However, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to focus on a simple comparison using US data comparing two positions, uh, a bioinformatics scientist in industry and a postdoctoral researcher in academia. Now on average, a bioinformatics scientist in industry can expect to be earning around $116,000, whereas a postdoctoral researcher would expect to earn on average around $75,000. So that's about a 35% increase from academia to industry. As I said, there are many variables that go into your salary. So your situation could be different to this. Um, I will make a video kind of going into more detail on the different salaries for different bioinformatics job roles uh, at a later date. But for now, the main takeaway from this is that salaries are significantly higher in industry. Now, as well as salaries being higher in industry, I would say industry also has better compensation. Um, so at least from my experience in academia, I did not get um, anything like bonuses or anything like that. Whereas in industry, you do get bonuses, at least uh, in my case. The amount of PTO, paid time off you get, that depends on the organization again. Uh, but for me, it was very similar. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the video, but before we round off, I just want to go over my personal experience moving from academia to industry. In industry, you get paid more, and I would say you learn more because of the higher pressure environment. You're kind of forced to kind of learn quicker. Whereas in academia, I would say it's more relaxed and more enjoyable because there's not that high pressure. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, just drop a comment below, give the video a like and subscribe. And I've also made a website, so I'm going to link that in the description. Go and check it out. I'll be posting each video. I'm going to be posting as a blog from now on as well. So if you prefer to read a blog rather than watch a video, check out the website. Um, sign, up, sign up to my mailing list because I'm going to start doing a monthly newsletter where I cover uh, everything bioinformatics from career tips to updates in the field uh, and general advice. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.